man, that bitch Saria never looks at me. Never looked at me during. Who's she thinking about? Yeah, God. Hey. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Paper. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to Paper oh, Duck. Paper Duck. Is Paper welcome Duck? A, is Paper Duck a Pokemon, or is he just a random duck? Uh. No, he's just that one random duck in the Pokemon. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's not. Like... He's not a Pokemon. He's just an animal. He's just an animal in the Pokemon universe. Yeah, you know there's actually one episode, uh, like in the like in the first season, where they're on the SS and the boat. Yeah. And uh, it, it sinks, and they're underwater, and you can actually see out the window. There are normal fish. There are swimming. Normal. So does that mean like yeah, there's like... a normal ass cat somewhere? Possibly, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't remember if they've ever shown it other animals though i mean like when they're eating they're like eating like meat and like turkey legs and chicken oh, yeah, and that's right beef and stuff like the fish it's... so it's like hmm is it pokemon or is it is like it, are they yeah are they eating pokemon or that's you gotta get me some of that tauros meat <laughs> oh you <laughs> can't give me <laughs> nourishment <laughs> dumb <laughs> sorry um i'm gonna have to bleep that out Oh, oh, I do have to, don't I? Oh, ooh, cursing in the first few minutes. Ooh. Don't worry, we'll we'll put some stock stock sound quack effects. Uh, oh yeah. So you, you want me to tell you the other story of? Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. You had, a, you had a you had another story like prepped and ready. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so this one was after, I'm pretty sure this was after uh, my dad and my mom got divorced. Oh, shit, oh, shit, uh, oh, shit. Don't, Casey, don't no, die no, don't again. don't worry, don't worry, keep telling you your story. Everything's fine. Every, everything's fine, don't worry about it. If you die in two episodes, uh, you've, I've lost our respect. I don't think I died in the last episode. I'm pretty sure that, uh, Yeah, you died. Mm -mm. If you... No, you no, let's go out. back to the go back. I'm pretty sure it was edited cut that out. out. <laughs> I'm walking all the way to fucking Alabama and I'm gonna punch you in the face. Why, wait, what are you talking about? I'm right here on the couch. You don't have to walk anywhere. No, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna punch you right in the face, Casey, that's beside me. If you edit that out. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, anyway, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> back to the story. Um, So, my dad, he. Uh, yeah, my uncle was over, and you know they were drinking, just having a good time. And my dad was getting, I was like, drunk. And he's like, oh man, I'm, and so was my uncle. He was pretty drunk. Oh fuck. Uh, but my dad was like, oh man, I'm getting hot. I need to go outside. Like, no, you're not allowed outside when you're like, that drunk. He's like, no, it's fine. I, I just need to sit outside for a little bit. <laughs> like, no, you don't. You're not going outside. So we just like try to keep him inside. Oh, no. And then I think we were in the kitchen, like either talking or something like that, keeping my dad unsupervised. Next thing we know, we heard the front door open. Oh, like no. shit, <laughs> it's like drag his ass back inside. Who was it watching, Dad? <laughs> You're grounded. The thing, the thing was, like, I was a teenager, and I think my sister was kind of a teen, like a teenager too. Yeah. Like we couldn't like get him or anything. So I guess I'll tell my uncle to try to get my dad which i mean my dad's not like fat but he's definitely kind of on a heavier side he's hefty he's a hefty boy he's a hefty boy you chef know? boy so, already like, kind of hefty oh yeah and getting him upstairs to go to bed was <laughs> was not fun no just make him sleep on the couch <laughs> no i didn't want him to sleep on the couch because i wanted to sleep on the couch <laughs> you're sleeping on the couch Sleeping uh, on this couch that we're sitting on right now. <laughs> it does fold out into a bed. <laughs> so. <laughs> and there's room for two. God. Okay. So this this bit. I remember being a kid. And like when I finally got here. The first time I was like. Oh, it's so spooky. Oh yeah dude. And it's just this asshole up here. Yeah and then you see that. You're like oh. And then the dude, sounds. This... So unsettling. Oof. Goma. Dude, this was so scary. Because yeah, as a kid, you had like, you didn't know where you're doing, you didn't know where you're going. And when you finally got here after like hours of just like walking around and trying to figure stuff out, you're like, oh my gosh. 
All right, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna creep through. Why is it always the eyeball? I don't know. Zelda has a distaste for eyes. It's somehow the eye. I mean, I guess it's the most like recognizable thing. It's like almost kind of looks more like a target, you know? Well, I kind of think about it like, you know, bugs can have an exoskeleton, so they're pretty safe from sharp objects. What's the mm -hmm. only thing not safe from a sh sharp thing? They're testing. <laughs> Yo, uh, okay. All right, uh, actually, since you brought up testicles. <laughs> okay, that's a weird segue, but go on. Did you, did you read the... Well, it's kind of an old article, but here lately kids have been doing these TikTok video challenges or whatever. You know, like, the, sounds tide, familiar, yeah. like the Tide Pod challenge and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, that was a good challenge. Recently, uh, people have started dunking their testicles in soy sauce. <laughs> There's the whole scrotum, like, <laughs> in soy sauce. Because you technically have taste buds what? on your oh. testicles. Oh. Uh. But, you technically have taste buds inside your asshole. That doesn't mean... <laughs> <laughs> but the thing oh. that, like, no one understands, right? Because there's a few videos of them doing it and be like, oh, I do taste it! Oh my god, I do taste it! Like, <laughs> the thing is, though, the taste buds are in your testicles, not the scrotum. The scrotum is the sac that wraps around your testicles. The testicles are the little things inside the scrotum. So if you were to taste anything, you'd have to cut those out and then uh, dip them in. <laughs> but so funny, just like all these people. So <laughs> Such a ten everyone's an attention whore. <laughs> it's so I funny. Don't care. I don't I don't care who you are. Like me and you, we're a bunch of attention whores doing this right here. We are. We are. <laughs> like if we wanted to, we could just easily just play this and just like Chit chat, like I'll be playing another game, like oh yeah, how's Zelda going? But no, we gotta record this. We're just a bunch of tension. Yeah, no, that's the thing about like um media in general is like you have to be some sort of a um oh what's the word? Relevant? No, self-absorbed. Oh yeah, not like yeah um, yeah yeah. Like something about you has to have an ego to sit down and record yourself doing something. That's true. And I can definitely say yes, I do have an ego. <laughs> It is massive, let me tell you. <laughs> my ego is bigger than my dick. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty, it's just saying something because it's a pretty big dick. Yeah, Dude. I don't think, I, I don't think uh, I'd usually admit it, but I think I have a pretty <clears throat> I'm pretty full of myself sometimes. I know it. I think I just keep it in. It, it's probably better that you do keep it in. You know, in terms of like a social way. Yeah. But I think just because that at times I am such an arrogant, forward asshole that I get a lot of things done. <laughs> true. That so, is true. So I feel like opportunities do open up more when you're more of an assertive asshole. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. people like that. I don't get it, but... Well, you know, it's like... Uh... Uh... Kind of like... I don't think it's right saying, but you know... Uh, good guys finish last is because the good guys come in when things are going bad. Bad guys always go in when like they want to do something. You know? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, or like I know that wasn't exactly the right saying, but you get you know what I'm trying to say. I get your point, but I think a better point would be made that like um, good people don't seek attention for the good they do, which is why they don't finish. Right. Because right. Because they did it while no one was looking. There, there's nothing to be. Like they don't want the recognition for it. Exactly. And then on the other hand, some of us need validation for living, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, I'm sorry if, like, if you care that we're not reading any of this stuff. If you haven't played this game or seen someone play it at this point in 2020, I mean, come on. <laughs> Whose fault is that? I mean, yeah, come on. It's either yours or your parents for having you too late in life, okay? This is Hyrule Spider Ah, fuck Hyrule. I don't give a shit. Jimmy D. <laughs> Go now to Hyrule Castle. Hey, that, uh, take this stone with you. This stone that man wanted so much that has cast a curse on me. You're a fucking tree. How did you hide it? Where he were you keeping that? Up his butt. Do trees have butts? 
Yeah, it's just really deep underground. <laughs> it's just really deep under. They they soak up it's water through the butt. Underground, past the bedrock. <laughs> have you um have you ever heard of people putting alcohol in their butt to drink it instead? It's a real Sadly, thing. Yes. Sadly, <laughs> I have. Would you ever want to just try it just to see? No. Why would I want to <laughs> shove out al like put alcohol up my rectum? Is it just because it's alcohol, or is it just because you don't want things up your butt? Because I don't want things up my butt. Oh, I mean, you're missing. I mean, not... um, I, I get it. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not in the butt stuff. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I can change that. <laughs> Have you ever tried butt stuff? Not like th you to them, but them to you. Oh, okay. Can is this is this paper duck appropriate? <laughs> uh. Because <laughs> yes, one hundred percent, absolutely. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. You oh, ha you have a prostate, and it is like a little button. You've let someone shove something up your butthole. Y yeah. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> Man, you got you got problems, dude. Oh, do I? <laughs> I'm the one with problems here. You're the one judging me for having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> No, absolutely, absolutely. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So, I I, I think I have care. said this to you before. <laughs> no, like I was, I. What do you call it when you're dating someone but not really? <laughs> like Friends with benefits. I, sure, that yes. <laughs> Let's go along with that. Yeah, sure. I was, <laughs> I was with this girl for a while, and like, she was like, "I want to do this." I was like, "You know what? Fuck it. Let's go." <laughs> I'm kind of scared to ask, but how did the process go? Dude, it was, like, at first I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But me being an asshole, arrogant as fuck. On the outside, I was like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Admit fear? Never. <laughs> you... have, have you watched, you've been watching uh, the uh, Unis Honest stuff from Markiplier, right? Yes, and, uh, this is so good. <laughs> You saw the recent one with where they went to a uh, a, a, a hypnotist, right? Yes. I feel like like our relationship is in a way similar to Mark and Ethan's. How so? Like the... like you're more the Mark and I'm more the Ethan. Oh. <laughs> I could say I could see that, but I don't know if I'd want to go out of my way to get tased. No, I mean just I'm, that's why I'm like we're not completely, yeah. but like in ways like i'm more the ethan you're the mark like you're more stubborn you're more willing to do stuff then again if I, mean, some... I, I am but like if someone was like do you want to get like tased what? is like are we recording it yes then yes yes absolutely yeah if we're recording it <laughs> i'd probably hate it all the way through but i could probably do it oh man after seeing that video it reminded me of um uh michael reeves on youtube who made a who made taser tag <laughs> Oh my god. He took laser tag vests and hooked them up with tasers, so if you ever got hit, you knew it. <laughs> oh. And I want to try it so bad. Oh. <laughs> It'd be That's so fun. Suck. It'd be so fun, though. It's gonna suck. You couldn't lie, either. Like, they, we all know. We heard you scream. Oh, no, yeah, you can see it on your face. You can you, you see it when you're screaming. Yeah, we see it. <laughs> Oh, oh hey, it's our our goodest friend Hoot Hoot Jimmy D. Look up here. Oh, fucking sick. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You'll encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged even during the toughest times. Go straight this way. You see Hyrule Castle. You'll meet the princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscribe screen and see your artifact on the map sub screen. You will also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should. Did you get all that? No, no, I skipped the last two bits. <laughs> all right, then I'll see you around. Hoot hoot hoot. <laughs> hoot hoot ho. Hoot hoot ho. Fucking owl. That was a weird like. What accent was that? I I don't know. I feel like it was it was a very racist accent. No, I because 
like I couldn't so, stop. I had to keep going with it. Some bits I was like, oh, that's kind of like a poo. But then you rolled the R's like, is it Italian a poo? <laughs> I felt like it was a really Italian, like Indian person. Yeah, there you go. Is that like racist? An per is that racist? it though? No. Is it though? No. Is it though? You know what? I don't know. I do what is that thing in the top left corner? I'm sorry to cut you off, but like... Oh, yeah. Actually, I saw that earlier, but I just hadn't really thought about it. What is that? I don't... I don't know. Is it part of like the, uh... <laughs> the N64 system, maybe? Yeah, the N64 <laughs> system. Is it like... Since it's plugged up to the Elgato, is it? Is it the Elgato? <laughs> I think uh... it... I think it's the save state thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh... Fine, I'll admit it. I, I I think we've already admitted it. It's fucking emulator. No, okay. Oh, you're an emulator. You're an emulator. This is all an emulation. Dude, it's for time real? to wake up. <laughs> Casey, I need you to wake Dude. up. Dude, oh, did I tell? Okay, so back in high school, right? We were friends in high school, right? We yes. were. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's where we met. That's right. That's where. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, my brain, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, um... Hey, it's Llama on the Ranch. Those yeah. birds are frozen as fuck. Uh, yeah, they're kind of... Are they okay? Yeah, they're fine. They'll be, they'll be fine. It's, they'll, they're fine. Can they anyway, you were, you were saying... Oh, on the bus. Alright. Do you remember Rodrigo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, one day, all of us on the bus started staring at Rodrigo. And we were just going like, wake up, Rodrigo, wake up. You need to wake up. <laughs> oh! Imagine the entire bus looking at you and doing was this shit. Was it literally the entire bus? It was the entire bus. Wow. <laughs> was he like flipping out? He was like, you guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good though. So what funny. What if it turned out your life was actually kind of like, you know, like the Truman Show? Um, or like your your life was a lie and it's just all been like a tele television show. I don't know if I'd care. <laughs> no? No. Because like, I, I can, well, at least now I'm kind of enjoying whatever. So like, mm -hmm. it's not that big of a deal for me. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, honestly, don't mean to be mean, but what would it really be a watch? You just drawing tits all day. <laughs> Dude, people do watch me draw tits all day. That's the issue. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do stream that. Like, people. Have like... you been streaming much lately? Uh, not a whole lot lately, but I have been streaming more often this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. You mean in like the past month? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I don't know why I haven't really seen any notifications or. Are you... I guess maybe I'm just working. Or... I've been on Picardo more than anything else. So... Uh, I don't have know you been have... like... Do what? Mm, oh, do you like advertise them on your Twitter? Yes. Which Twitter though? The only one I have now. Oh yeah, you don't use your... Uh... No, I deleted the other one. Oh, you actually deleted it? Yeah, I absolutely just got rid of it. Wow. Because, like, at the start of this year, I was like, you know what? I need to change up a few things. One of them being the way I act and the way I, I hold myself online. Just because, like, it, it wasn't healthy. Yeah. So I deleted I deleted Reddit. I deleted that Twitter account. I deleted Twitter off my phone. Uh, oh, wow. Don't have the Snapchat anymore. So that's why you're not looking at my Snapchat. Oh, I didn't. Oh, were you sending me things? <laughs> usually, whenever I send Snapchats, I'll send it to like a everybody. Bunch of people. I usually send it to you. Oh, yeah. I, mean, no, I don't really. Care. I don't really expect you to look at them, but I just send them to you. Man. Yeah, no, I, I've deleted everything. Like, yeah, it's probably probably better, honestly. I feel better. <laughs> yeah, just not having all that garbage. Well, well, like, especially deleting Twitter off my phone, it got rid of like that. Um, whenever I was upset, like I just needed to get it out. And yeah. for the most part, I'd always go on Twitter first. And now, like, since I don't have it on my phone, and the times I usually get upset, I'm away from my computer. I don't have anywhere to dump that horrible shit. Yeah, just you have to kind of deal with it with yourself rather than... Just, yeah, because like, no one cares. Being, being, yeah, being another 
complaining voice on the internet. Yeah. I, I've tried to complain a lot less, like, in, in uh, the entirety of my life, but there are still issues, you know? There are still moments yeah. where I'm like, ah, I fucking hate this. Yeah. Like, yesterday... Well, anyways, oh, sorry, go on. Time for our talk about politics. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Uh, not in a political sense, but someone was in an argu argument with me about charities yesterday. Just cause, oh, like, really? Yeah, because, like, there's the whole Australian fires things going on. Like, that's great. That's a perfect charity. And then yeah. they... I forget how the conversation led up to it, but it was, like... It was giving uh, clothes cool. to, like, Africa. Yeah. Like, some, somehow, like, it got to that point. I was like, no, giving clo clothing to Africa makes Africa even more poor. Because... Yeah, exactly. Because, like... Because no one's working for well, it. Well, you're killing the textile industry. And you're destroying the local market by giving them an influx of clothing that they can just get for free now or for a very cheap price. So why would anyone go to the local market and buy local goods when you've supplied a cheaper alternative? Yeah, exactly. It like I understand, I understand you want to help them, but like it ruins their economy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and I'm not saying charity's bad. Hey, Jimmy D, this way. <laughs> Is inside the castle, just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you're in London Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which where are you going to go now? Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Oh, you're a smart kid. Good luck, kid. Hoo -hoo. Am I a smart kid? You're a smart son of a bitch. <laughs> no, but I mean, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, no, uh, charity. I don't think charity's bad. I just no, think we could yeah. do better. And, like, yeah. ruining the local economy is definitely not helping. <laughs> no. But it did give me an idea, though, because they, they made a point about, like, how our... Like, the employees of, say, of five guys don't get paid very well. I was like, oh, you know right. what? You're right. So instead of donating $500 to a, or, like, $1,000 to um to another country, why don't you just take $1,000 in cash and split it among the crew out of five guys? Yeah. Because, like, one, that diversifies your money into the economy far more effectively than just buying products for yourself. Because they're all going to take that money and either... I worked at Five Guys, so I know they probably need gas. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they're probably going to buy gas or, like, back. goods that they want or need and stuff, and that will diversify that money into the growing economy far more better, and it'd be a way better to conduct charity because you're spreading wealth around even more and to local business. So... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about, like, oh, I want to help out, like, uh, other countries and stuff. But, like our country needs help like our people need help like i mean i agree with helping like australia and the fires that's great yeah like giving stuff like that like big devastations but like giving medical treatment to people who need it but it's like yes there are poor and like sick over in like africa and stuff but do you know how many like homeless and stuff are in the united states dude have you haven't been to california have you no but you know i've talked to you know like a uh, hunter oh yeah like, that's right he lives recently there. Yeah. he like yeah, he's like, there's a lot of homeless there. I've been to California like at least twice in the last, in the last year. I was there twice. And like, um, they have a horrible homeless problem, dude. It is not fun. And, yeah. And I it's not like... their fault either. Like, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, hello, baby. What are you like, seven? <laughs> <laughs> What do you like? Six? Mm. <laughs> Ooh. You're almost there, baby. This is how we get kicked off of YouTube. Just be like that, uh. Oh, like, uh, that one fucking... Indian guy me messaging that girl. It's like, hey how, hey, how old are you? Oh, I'm like 15. Okay, three years later. Hey, you're 18 now. Wait, do I have. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it needed yeah, me to go all the way back again. Hello? Hello? Okay, oh, there you go. Oh. I Did I cut out? I, I felt like it went silent for a second. Oh. Oh, but you're fine. 
But you get the egg. I've got the egg. And the most powerful item. In the game. Okay, so... Uh, it's really powerful. Now I have to wait uh, for this egg. Anything you can do in between now and then? Do what? Anything you can do now between now and then? Um... Well, the gate just closed, so I can't go out of Castletown now. Actually, what? Oh, do you know what? We could actually stop here, because we're about, like, a little over 25 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, well, and then And then when we come back next episode, the egg will be. Yeah. We'll hatch, yeah. We'll hatch this little cook. Yeah. What? I'm still drinking my soda. I'm surprised you threw that beer. <laughs> I was just kind of sipping, man. Kind of sipping and dipping, though. I don't know.